guys, <clears throat> welcome to Jimble Shave. Uh, coming to you this evening from a place I can't even pronounce actually, it's uh, it's got a German name but it's in France, so it's down that bit of the border near the German border, uh, border uh, down towards uh, South Germany. Uh, it's about oh, 12 kilometres from, uh, well the main city is Strasbourg, Strasbourg, so that's where I'm coming Bit of a funny camera angle, but bit of a funny camera angle here. It's uh, yeah, it's a funny setup. I do apologise, but uh, hey, you know me. It's all funny setups here. And speaking about setups, what are we doing today? Razor of choice for today. The Rex Ambassador. The Rex Ambassador. Don't think I've used it uh, on video for a while. In there, I'm going to be using perm sharp blade. Maybe you can make that out. From a recent shopping ship, uh, shopping ship, shopping trip, from a shop in Florence, Firenze, Italy, I managed to find a tube of white Pro Razzo soap for today, and also I actually managed to spot a Pro Razzo aftershave. Yes, I did. Now uh, <clears throat> this is the green aftershave, because it isn't a white one, so that'll have to do. A brush for today is my Blackland, Blackland brush there, aluminium handle, I think it's a 23 millimeter knot, very small knot, black knot, and I've just used it for head shave. Not ideal for head shaving, quite a weighty, quite a weighty, hefty uh, brush. Okay, first of all, let's get the blade into the razor, shall we? I've already got it set on number one, then you can make that out there, yeah, see the red dot, number one, that's where we are. And I do apologise because I think I've got my focus is going to be all to pot on this uh, camera today. So, loosen the bottom until the, cop, until the top cap comes off. There we go. See? Pop the razor there. Something I haven't done with this camera, I do apologise. I think the focus is going to be a bit fuzzy wuzzy in places, but I can live with it. I can live with it. I think my head will look a little bit bigger than it normally does. Okay, blade on the top cap, like so. And screw it up at the end. Not too tight, because you won't be able to adjust the settings. So there we are. All done. Okay, I'm gonna start the shave on pass, my first pass. It's gonna be on number four. Number four. See that there? Don't know if you're getting it. Number four. <clears throat> I don't like to start off on like really wacky settings. I know some guys do, some, some guys can get away with it, but uh, not this guy. Super duper. It's not me super duper, it's my shiny soup bowl, the one I use for travelling. I just love the smell of this, uh, the scent of Prorazzo White. It's good stuff, good stuff. And I've gone overboard as usual. Use too much product, guys. Use too much product. I've got enough of the stuff, why not? Okay, just put the spikies on a minute. You know, you got a nice new tube and uh, you have to dip into it and sad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so uh, Prorazzo White for sensitive, for sensitive skin. Really, really nice, clean scent, I find. <clears throat> okay, see, overboard as usual. And let's sweat the brush. The razor nearly fell down the sink. The razor did fall down the sink, <coughs> which isn't good because <coughs> being in France, and we'll pull on it. And in we go. That smells so well. So nice. I get like a, a citrus from it. I know that there's no citrus in here, but uh, I do. I get a citrus, a citrus hit. 
Yeah, so as I say, today I'm in France. Only just across the border from Switzerland. About an hour and a half ago. So I left Tuscany this morning. A town called Monte Catini Term, an Italian spa town. Drove non stop all the way to uh, a border town called Chiasso, border between Switzerland and Italy. Making a right old mess here. Not a problem. There we go, that's going to do me nice, shiny, glorious scent. It's not posh, it's not fancy, it's just nice. Okay, just going to wrap these whiskers. Got a few on. Yes, I'm just in this hotel for one night, for one night only. In the morning, eight o'clock in the morning, leave here and uh, head up towards Strasbourg. So I'll make my way up through France, up to Luxembourg, through Luxembourg, Belgium, Holland, and eventually arrive at uh, Europos near Rotterdam. Overnight sailing to uh, the UK, to the port of Hull. Then uh, some people just drop off. Again, this pro rider wise, it's another long song hero. Really nice scent. Blackland blush, blackland blush. <laughs> the blackland that blush. Small lot. It's uh, not that good for head shaving. But for shape, face shaving, it's uh, just the business. Aluminium mandel, black. Well, it's white now. Because I'm such a messy guy. I had to get one, being a, being a Blackland fan. Blackland doors, Blackland Blackbird. I had to get it, I had to get it. So there we go. Blackland Drex on setting number four. I forgot where I was on then. I'm gutted about not setting the uh, on this camera, but uh, hey oh. That wheels are very nice, very smooth. Oh, some people, they buy the Rex Ambassador and they, uh, they jump straight in at the high settings. Don't know myself. I just say to himself, Jim, it's not big. It's not clever. Behave yourself. Start off at the lower end, see what works for you. And if you can get away with uh, using the highest setting, good on you. Although I don't think I particularly like to use a higher setting against the grain. Because the higher settings are quite ferocious. I find. But nice. So smooth. It's 
whipping action there off there. Yeah, I'm a bit, uh, a bit quiet today, I'm a bit knackered. Didn't sleep too good last night. Italy had actually gotten hot. Yeah, so it was uh, quite uncomfortable last night, an uncomfortable night's sleep. No one and always gets stuffy. At this 7 4 at the moment, doing, doing a good job. Feels very nice. Bear in mind, I've got a pair of sharp blade in a moment. I could, like, in future switch out to a feather blade. Could be totally different. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a weird, a weird bathroom I'm in this evening. It's, uh, it's very rural, it's uh, quite old. Nice setting, lovely setting. With the French countryside, hills everywhere, trees, little villages. It's face, it's I sometimes under a I drive into places like these and uh, I say, never in a million years would I have ever have imagined <laughs> visiting a location like this in the middle of the sticks, a place I've never heard of, yet here I am. All to do with fate, because... Uh, Yeah, years ago, I, uh, I was doing shitty jobs, crap jobs, menial jobs, and a friend of mine, he'd actually got a job on the buses, he says, uh, come along, get your licence, and get away, so uh, that's what I did, got my licence, hated the job, so <laughs> straight away, I was out on coaches, and uh, yeah, the rest is, yeah, driving people around, roll, guided city tours, I could never have imagined doing that. You know, uh, someone's setting four fellas. That feels a bit vicious uh, across the grain on the chin. But I do have a decapitated spot there. I just have to squeeze it before they shave. Sorry for being disgusting, but... Uh... That's my life. I'll actually get this weekend off, guys. Yeah, that's a real rarity. Doing anything though. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Don't know if you can hear that shaving. The burnt toast sound. A little bit brutal. I say that's the uh, spotted he capped earlier. Look at the cap on there. That's shaved actually. Just 
sort of relax in the neck so the razor can get into the oils. I think the first time I ever shaved with a Rex Ambassador I actually caused myself some meditation on the neck. And I can feel now on this setting four that I could easily push it too far and suffer irritation again. But as it is, I'm on a cracking job. Got to adjust the setting for us. Got to knock it down for the uh, against the green pass. Currently on four. And I'm going to knock it down to 2.5, 2.5. Reactivate that slickness. Plenty of it. Plenty of it. I'll tell you what, trying to find my room in this hotel is a job. Wow. You know, in France, you get a hotel room. <laughs> never makes sense. Never makes sense. The door number never corresponds with the floor number, there's no sequence of numbers and you know, you're, you're baggage with you and you're up and down and oh, it'd be so annoying. Yeah, so, yeah, it was a bit of a... But I nipped down to the bar and I was there. A couple of colleagues, former colleagues of mine, who I used to work with years ago, doing this job. They were here with another company. So we had a nice little catch up. Went to the bar. The two little beers, which were free because we were drivers. The uh, hotel very kindly said, drivers don't pay for beer here. Yeah. It's all free. Now if I didn't own that, <laughs> I'd have gotten here at four o'clock this afternoon. No, I wouldn't. We do get freebies in this job, but I, I accept them graciously. I don't go looking for them. Which is the best way to be? Okay, fellas, against the grain. Setting, I've forgotten. 2.5. And still plenty of blade fill. On 2.5. It's still doing a business. No issues whatsoever. That feels nice. Against the grain, easy peasy. So what are you all getting up to this weekend? Some nice shapes planned? Well, isn't that a silly question really? I mean, when you're at work, on a Friday, you're all going off to do your things the weekend. You don't say to your work colleagues, you've got any nice shaves planned. <laughs> that feels awesome, truly awesome. You can hear those bristles coming off. Very nice. Yeah, the uh, 2.5 on the neck. Good, it's a good setting for me.
Schoens. Schoens geweest wel. Do the cold rinse, post shake report. So as soon as you wear uh, exit with water. Slickness is back. Okay, just a couple of little pickups there that I've missed. But apart from that, job's a good one. Right, where's the towels? There's one over here. Is it a bit echoey in here? Let's see what that's like, shall we? Absolutely perfect. Completely BBS. Very nice. Good poche feel from the very budget friendly uh, ProRezzo. I think the aftershave and the soap together was around about six euros. Made up with that result. Exactly what I expected. ProRezzo, believe it or not, this is the first time ever for me using ProRezzo aftershave. Let's give it a little shake, because you always should. Nice tight restrictor on there, see? In fact, it's tricky to go out. You'll not overuse this. Oh, wow. That's a good burn. That is a good burn. Burn subsided. All done. Okay. What do I think of ProRazzle? It's, uh, it's not what I expected. My thoughts on ProRazzle after shave, I say, first time ever using it, it's probably. Okay, it puts me, me in mind of uh, something you buy on any high street chemist for about three quid. There's nothing special about it, but. Uh, yeah, it's pleasant. Okay, just quickly go for the recap. Razor today was the Rex Ambassador. In there today, the blade was uh, Permashaw on its first use. So for today was Perazzo White Tube Cream Brush. If you, if you can see much of it. Look at that, look at the state of that, that's terrible. It was the Blackland Shaving Brush, 23mm, black synthetic nut. Lava Bowl was my uh, Chinese soup bowl, or Chinese noodle bowl, which comes everywhere with me. And that was all finished off. The Perazzo After Shave Splash. Okay guys, thanks, uh, thank you very much for joining me here for the, in France for this shave. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow night and uh, I don't think we're doing a video at sea because uh, it's a bit tricky. <laughs> okay, guys, enjoy the weekend. Have a great time. Thanks for all the recent likes, comments, subscriptions. I appreciate you all. Okay, guys, all stay safe now. I'll see you further down the line. Bye bye.